Oh, I got my Cobra, the bastard child, back. Mac 11. Uh, I looked through it real well, and the only thing that looks like they changed is the 32 round magazine because mine was split halfway down the backside when it exploded. Uh, other than that, the barrel's the same. Uh, everything's pretty much the same. I noticed that the uh, the safety lever internally is uh, bent a little bit, so it's not retained by the retaining spring properly. If you don't know, there's a retaining spring in there that goes through a little notch in the safety lever pin, and it holds the safety in. And that's not a concern of mine right now. I'm going to order a new one. I'm not going to be shooting it 15 hundred times today just because of that that reason so what I'm gonna do is put one round in the magazine and we're gonna try to see if it'll feed that and if it feeds that then I'll put two rounds in the magazine and we'll shoot those two and see if it uh, if it feeds those two without exploding in my face so you might want to watch carefully in case this is the last time you see me <laughs> no I'm sure with it, they said they test fired it and uh, everything test fired okay so we have 115 grain full metal jacket Winchester ammunition. We're going to be feeding through it. They say with a, a Cobra M11 like this, you should not feed personal protection ammo through it. Uh, even in the booklet it says foreign ammo is not recommended. So it has to be made in the U.S. So let's feed a couple in there and see if it shoots. Alright, we got one round in the magazine. Let's see if it feeds it right. Oh, I went right in there. All right, here's a test fire. Didn't jam. Cycled it. So let's go to two. Two rounds in the mag. It took them only like a week to do a review on this gun and then uh, send it back and say it was ready to shoot. Cycled the first one. I checked the shell casing and it looks really good. So two rounds, we'll give it a shot. Fed that one. Dirt shooting! Didn't jam those. The barrel looks to be free of obstruction. I'm shaking because the spring tension on this Cobra is like 50 pounds just to pull it back. But I actually like it. It's a utilitarian gun. It's not pretty by any means. People go, oh, that's the ugliest goddamn thing I've ever seen. It's supposed to shoot. It's supposed to have lead and copper come out this end after being put in this end. That's all it's for, utilitarian use. All right, let's try three. I'm feeling a little itchy here. We'll get, see if we can get three out of her. Let's see what we got. Three rounds, Winchester, 115 grain, full metal jacket. Make sure it feeds it again. Okay, it's in there. Dirt shooting, my God, get in! There's all three, check the chamber. No obstructions. Still heavier than hell spring. Oh. Well, folks, I think that's all we're gonna try to do today. I'm gonna get this fixed right here. That fire safe lever pin, make sure that's nice and straight. And then we'll be uh, letting her loose, letting her out of the cage. Thanks for watching. Oh, and by the way, if you guys didn't know, my friend that had this explode in his hand, after removing uh, shrapnel out of his face and rushing into the emergency room, uh, he's okay. He's out of the hospital. He's good. It just, uh, it's kind of scary when stuff like that happens. It doesn't happen very often. Thank God he had his safety glasses on. Always remember to wear your safety glasses. If he wouldn't have been wearing his safety glasses, uh, he wouldn't have either eye today. So thank God for safety glasses. And uh, always make sure you have a safe firearm. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you want to see more Cobra M11 action like watermelons or calves. And we'll see what we can do.